That's right, the home opener against Hillsboro. And uh, Jake, I think the last time I was here, that was the time I did my first pitch. That's right. That wasn't, that, <laughs> I'm not making the team anytime soon. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you're coming along just fine. Listen, let's talk about the caliber of players that the uh, Vancouver Canadians has. I mean, really, we have some great players that do move on. Yeah, uh, we, we really do. I mean, I think I'm correct in saying we just sent our 50th uh, former C to the majors, which is pretty good considering uh, we've only been here eight years. And uh, it's, um, uh, it's a great relationship with Toronto. They, they always send us the best they've got, and they draft very well. So we finished, uh, we've won the championship three out of the last four years. Last year we lasted on the last day. So uh, we're pretty optimistic. And you know, the fan experience is going to be incredible. You have more seats. Yep. Tell us a little bit more about the expansion. Well, we had a nice problem last year. We were sold out and, and we had a, a number of complaints from the, uh, from the fans, reasonably enough, to say we can't get in. So we built, along with the Parks Board this winter, uh, another 900 seats. And an all-inclusive area here at the Hey Y'all Porch where people come, they pay, and then everything's kind of included, right? And all the food you can eat, uh, and I think all the Hey Y'all you, <laughs> you can drink. Hey Y'all, hey Janet, how are you? Hi, good, how are you doing? <laughs> Fantastic, especially because you're pouring us a little beverage cocktail. What do you have going here? Well, here I've got our Hey Y'all Georgia Peach Iced Tea, which is our original recipe, uh, hit up with a spike of Georgia Peach. And this is is something that people can experience here. Yes, yes. We'll be pouring this uh, throughout the stadium and particularly on the Hey Y'all porch. Well, hey y'all, make your way to the Hey Y'all porch and to a Canadians game soon. By the way, Russ, the home opener sold out, but there are several games, including a few nooner at the Nats, that I know we're going to have to do a little staff trip and maybe a little Georgia Peach. What do you think? Sounds we'll like see. a great plan. Home opener Friday night and continuing with that homestand through the weekend and beyond. So lots of opportunities to get out and support your Canadians. Beautiful little ballpark, by the way. Um, then uh, this is your first glimpse of the Vancouver Canadians preview. Home opener coming our way. Here's Don. I feel like sushi. I love this song. Yeah, put me in coach, right? And the sushis do get put in to really every uh, Vancouver Canadians game. We've got Jake. We've got Jeff. Um, for anyone that hasn't been to a game, and I don't know why you wouldn't have, uh, maybe we should introduce them to our original sushis before we reveal our brand new one. The broadcast premiere. Absolutely. So we've got on the left, we've got Miss BC Roll. Okay. On the far right, we've got Mr. Kapamaki. And in the middle, we've got the infamous Chef Wasabi. Okay, so this has been a tight-knit group, though, for quite some time. Yeah, so at the end of the fourth inning, our sushi rate, uh, mascots race from first base to third base, and uh, we have a winner every game. And, and for the longest time, Chef Wasabi's been looking for a win, um, but he uh, usually ends up being Mr. Kapamaki <laughs> or Miss BC Roll. And we've got a new surprise, which is definitely going to change the races this year. We've got the famous <laughs> Sadahara Soy. <laughs> who is our fourth sushi mascot, was going to be racing at the end of the fourth inning this summer. And uh, Sada Haru Soi is, is named after um, the famous professional Japanese baseball player, Sada Haru Oh. And uh, he's super excited to be part of the fun here, and we can't wait to have him be part of our games on uh, Friday. Looking, looking really good, I must say. Now, I know it's already a tight-knit group. They've invited our brand new um, sushi. What do you think? Can, I mean, I tried a first pitch last year. You think I can maybe join the, the race? I think it's worth trying a shot. What, let's let's what give do you it a think? shot. So we're going to try a little sushi race here. Uh, by the way, the Vancouver Canadians home opener on Friday. It is sold out. If you're coming, awesome. If you're not, make your way to a, a Vancouver Canadians game sometime soon. Shall we go, guys? Okay, Jake, will you start us off? On your mark, get set, go! Okay. <laughs> Don't hit me out! Oh, <laughs> take a break on BT. Russ has all the weather. Hey, what will the game hold on Friday? Those details up next. Who won? I don't even know who won. Chef Wasabi! You won? Finally? <laughs> take me out to the ball game. Gotta have. A hot dog O'Brien, the specialty hot dog is very popular here at Nat Bailey. Yes it is and uh, we have a top of your own hot dog here and uh, including uh, all beef dog. We have some jalapeno, fresh jalapeno here, also some uh, nicely aged uh, cheddar cheese, some uh, chopped onion, loaded, uh, some bacon, how about some bacon? Oh uh, sure why not, bacon with our and nice that, all beef hot dog. And also some tomatoes <laughs> as well. <laughs> Sounds good, just one of the offerings that of course you can get here at Nat Bailey. I'll let you continue on with that, but we're talking new offerings now here. Of course we're uh, doing our report here from the brand new Hey Y'all porch, but this is something people can get. Yes of course. So tell us a little bit about what we got going it's here. It's a barbecue brisket sandwich, mm -hmm. we uh, marinate it for 24 hours and we slow, slow cook it for 18 hours in a smoker. We build the brisket right here, a little bit of sauce. 
Oh, that looks good. Some pickles. A few pickles. We top the bun. And some oven-baked uh, potato chips for Beautiful. here. Beautiful. Now, again, on this particular Hey Y'all porch, all the food...